So I think I might have just found the best state management library in React. So Jotai is a state management library that is super simple to get going. It manages your state and much more. As you can see, this has an enormous amount of features and it's well documented. It has tutorial support. It's great. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to use this library in your React application. So I never really had the need to use the state management library, surprisingly, until I was building this interaction where you click on a card and then you can cycle through different types of modals. This requires state across the application. And the best way I found is to use a global state. So that's where I ran across Jotai. This video, I won't be covering how to build this interaction since it was pretty complicated. I'll have a link in the description of the video where I go over how to build this. But for this video, I'll be working on a different project that I built. This was also another series that I have in my channel where I built this whole website from scratch. So if you want to go see that, check it out. But for this tutorial, we're going to be focusing on switching the languages of this website. So if we go to the original website, like we can see that if we click on the language tab, we can switch languages pretty easily. And this is a perfect way to show you how to use Jotai. So here's my code. Like I said, I have a video and the GitHub repository in the description if you want to check out the code. So a quick overview, we have our hero object that gets the data from this data folder. So I have the English copy and the Dutch copy here. So I just copied and pasted since it was so simple. Usually you probably wouldn't want to do this with your languages. This is just a great way to show you how to use Jotai. Okay, so here we're gra grabbing the copy and we're rendering it out. English copy and our heading and our caption. Same thing with our footer. Okay, so ideally we'll want to switch languages with just the click of this link. However, this link is found in the sidebar right here and we'll have to access that same state that this link will change over in the hero and in the footer. We could always use state up here and then and pass down the state as props but that is a bit messy and it requires a use client everywhere in this website demonstration we're just using client in the root home page which really is not ideal but but just for this simple project we are okay so to use jotai we'll have to install it so go to the page and install either npm yarn or pnpn okay so once you have jotai installed you want to go to your directory and create a file named atoms.js. You don't have to, but it's a nice practice to have all of your state variables in one file. So here I'm going to export a constant, name it language, and initialize it with atom from Jotai. And here we'll just initialize it with English. So now we have our variable here that we can use across the page. Okay, so let's start by using it in the hero. We want to import our language from our atom folder and use atom from jotai here we'll want to just structure the state just like regular state in react i'll just name this site language and this is going to come from use atom and we're going to pass in our language variable or i'll create a variable named copy run in if else so if our site language is equal to english then we want our copy to equal english copy dot hero because it has a hero and a footer property and here we'll have a heading and a caption and then just a heading okay so now we'll have else copy equals dutch copy dot hero now if we take a look we see english because we initialize it as english but if we change it here we do a dutch language we have dutch so it's working perfectly. Now you'll ask, how do you change it? So let's go to our sidebar. Now we can import our atom. So here we'll import use atom from Jotai and our state, which was language from atoms. Now destructure it here, site language. And here we're actually gonna destructure our setter, which will just be site language equals to use atom, pass in our object. Now here, instead of just hard coding this, we can always get our site language. Here we'll pass uppercase since this is uh, case. We'll provide an onClick function, handle change, create our function, handle change. 
in here we'll check if if our site language is equal to English then we'll set our site language to Dutch now else if it's not English well it's Dutch so we'll set our language to English here since it's not a link we'll give this a cursor of pointer so now if we click our language right here we actually switch languages so this is nice there's obviously some flaws here how we're clicking Dutch and we actually go to English but that can obviously be fixed with a simple helper function also there's not animation here but that's not the point of this video also if you wanted to check out the video of me recreating this website I'll have it in the description as you can see Jotai is a super easy library to get going easy way to handle global state so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new definitely take a look at Jotai it's a great library great documentation and a bunch of features and as always thanks for watching